And it all comes down to this final heat for the women at the Corona Open J-Bay 2023. We'll check out Lakey Peterson taking on Molly Picklum. You know, and if you think about what she had in her mouth, it looked like a leash, which was uh, pretty unique. Swell lines filling in, offering these two, we hope, plenty of opportunity. Here goes Molly, smaller wave. It's quite steep for her, though. And she is going down the line here with some vicious intent. Oh. It goes into a lip, gets awkward for her, and just swats the board away from under her feet. This is, uh, you know, what she's been working for since a very young age. You had mentioned how uh, Shimoka had called her as a future world champion, and um, she's been working very hard ever since. Lakey going up into the lip hard and trying to float down to the flats, going down really, really hard there as well. So here's Molly, and she's deep, real far back on this, nowhere near it really. You could see she was going to struggle to make that opening takeoff section. Hitting the point now than what we saw. Previous couple of heats, last couple of hours. Here's Molly from underneath Lakey's priority. And swinging, and this one again will just run away from her here. And not a great choice from her. She'll end up without adding a massive amount of points. Lakey will just speculate, get to her feet. She'll look down the line from a standing position. And I wonder if she'll be able to get to a spot and able to spin. She will. Here's Peterson. Still looking for a first legit ride, really, in this final. Here she goes now. And she'll go flying past Molly Pickler. Big, quick hit from her, and the wave will stretch out. I wonder, Pete, this positioning. There are these places that uh, hook in, and this is one of those places that hooks in. And it, it, it protected from the wind, but you still get the swell. Well, a long paddle from Molly Picklum. Not a great use of priority at all from her. She really struggled to get onto that wave. We talked about that offshore. That one just kind of stood up. Try and put herself in position. This one's shaping up for her with a nice little taper to it. Here goes Lakey Peterson using her priority off the bottom. Cracks into the lip, not loads of spray from that as the wave goes a touch soft. And she'll redirect it now. Head down the line with speed. Float a maneuver for her. It's a little bit better. Don't feel it's going to be a huge number. Not huge, but solid, you know, and I think that that's going to help with the confidence building a little bit here. She's going to get that number one position. So you take a look here, first turn, straight into it, straight up, and a little drift of the fins, and then you had softened up. And uh, at this put stage, you're like, oh, wow, I want to get a move done before it starts to close out. She does get the cutback snap and then the floater to finish. So a good three different turns. That way it flattens out right here, and she kind of really had that snap, trying to fit in a maneuver in a section that really wasn't there, knowing that this wave was going to go onto the bricks, and you're going to get the only one last opportunity. I like what she did here by going straight up and punching the fins out the back. Then there's that little... Didn't use it particularly well. Yeah, she seemed like she had to work hard to get into these waves, and so she's not getting that board planing speed. Welcome back to live action in the women's final Corona Open J-Bay. Here's Molly Picklum with an absolute bomb here, flying down the line. Rips one off the top and still motoring here. A hit off the rail, she'll come behind a section. With this exchange, probably get slightly higher score. Let's take a look here, see how quality these two turns are. Carries a lot of speed into this first section. And there's that layback gap where she really pushes on the tail. And then the healthy mix with the nice carve, driving her arm through it, not keeping it back. And then the trip up. As we watch the replay here, it's super slow-mo. This is that second turn where she carves down. And there's the difference, the arm going through or from behind. That was the through turn carve, but look at this. Just too tight, you know, that's that line you gotta take. And she goes down. Meanwhile, right behind her, here's Lakey Peterson, and hits one into the lip, and then pushing hard, swinging those shoulders, getting the board the complete redirect, and then a little abbreviated tag, and a decent finish from Lakey Peterson. Keeps you high up on the wave so you can get around the section, but if you get too tight, the wave just wants to grab your feet. Now looking at this next wave, doesn't have quite the same quality that we saw from Molly's wave, but gets the turns done. Gives you a nice healthy mix of different moves. Makes sure she completes the finish. Even with all that foam, the foam makes it kind of slippery. You add air, 
You don't get that same kind of grip, so you have to be really careful, and it makes you a little more tentative in that foamy water. That's why you want to find that clean, water, open face. But she does well because, obviously, with these inconsistencies, any time you can see a set happening, you're going to make the choice to go. So nice combination of moves for Lakey and a solid finish. She was not going to mess that one up. She wanted to make sure that she completed it. Tricky finish as well. That's a pretty big gap for an exchange. And you know what? It's all about the quality of the maneuvers, and sometimes that holds true. Judges seeing that and uh, put a big number up. Here goes Picklum, a smaller wave for her, just swinging on the inside, looking to put it back up on the board, hitting the lip, tagging it again. And this wave still providing for her, and she'll look for an inside to finish, and much, much better from Molly Picklum, so getting the 7-5 prior to that. She's probably going to get the lead here with this wave, and he only needs the 4.1. She didn't have priority for this, so picked up the first wave, but saw an opportunity, even though the wave was a little smaller, that she uh, could score some points, you know, carrying a one. So ultimately, good call, because uh, she'll probably get the lead. Watch this here, you know, much smaller wave, though, and they will take that into account. But she is pushing hard. She she wants this. Obviously, we've seen how competitive she is, how driven she is, and it showcases in her performance. That didn't have a whole lot of critical sections there because that wave was very small in comparison. As we watch the replay here of that last one. Now 15.20 on the clock here. A set swinging in. Lakey Peterson is absolutely motoring wide. Strider, how does this one look to you? It looks stretched out. She's going to have to do a lot of work to get around it. But on the inside, oh, the turn and go. There she goes. She's all over this thing. Oh, man, I can't believe that thing swing wide. Big snap off the top right there. It looks like she's coming through to the inside. Wow. Big hack. Oh, it's right it. Picklum drops a hammer on the inside, and the momentum in this heat goes through a huge shift as Molly Picklum picks up a wave down on the inside. She's just got into a narrow lead wide enough on this set, and Molly just snaffles it, Pete. She did, and uh, that's just really fortunate for her because uh, this was a major set wave and a big section, and she lays into it, pulls it off clean, and she's going to improve on that 4.17 and extend her lead over Lakey Peterson. As you watch this first turn, the carve, knowing that she needed to keep that speed up for this last section here, it was going to shut down quickly. Carves off that lip line, holds it together, and completes it. She, she absolutely loves Even though they were waves that they were kind of pieces of, you know, her quality of surfing has been good. Let's see if uh, Lakey can answer back. Peterson here. Nice looking wall for her. Great first hit. Looking for 7 2 4 to go back to the lead. Look at this thing open up. There we Another go. good turn for Lakey. Hard off the bottom. Good snap into the lip as well. Where's this going to go score wise? Three good turns. Critical section. Speed, power, flow, Pete. Yeah, and you got to love that. It's just that back and forth. Similar to what we saw at the Wimbledon final, right? This is happening right here at Jeffreys Bay. Back and forth. Feels like this could be a lead change. Those were the strongest turns we've seen from Lakey in this final between Lakey and Molly, but this was strong, you know, especially this first snap, carrying a ton of speed, nice vertical on the face and just whips it in the lip, comes back down for another one, and so the quality of these maneuvers much better for Lakey. You, you can see the fireworks off the tail there and the drift of the fins. This could be excellent in my eyes. Watching one more time in the super slow-mo, but look at, zaps that lip. I mean, just fireworks off the tail. Eyes down the line, sets up this next one here. So confident in the equipment. Deep bottom turn and snap once again in the pocket. And the final move gets the drift this time. And that's commitment, pushing hard off those fins. Remaining the number is a 7-2-8 for Molly. Let's see, see how she goes about identifying a wave. In order to do that, Lake is not going to hang around. And she's going on the inside here, driving off the bottom, bang into the lip. She'll throw that away. Meanwhile, here's Molly. Chooses the second wave of the set. Not a great one. She'll quickly kick out. She'll hang up top. Will get priority. Really impressive. And overcoming 
A little bit of discomfort at the start of the heat, and really able to express themselves now in this final. 6.20 on the clock. Here's Pickland flying down the line. And just a slightly sticky snap, but finishes it really strong into the lips. So a lovely combo there from Mark. In this wave, it, you know, it had some energy, but you could see the ruffles and ribs across the face. So it wasn't the easiest wave to find that section. She gets there in this moment. There's that layback snap. Little stuff of the rail slightly, but nice strong finish. Right away, the best wave of the final. She'll want something like that. Here's another look at what Lakey just did. Yeah, well, she had priority and she executed it here on this wave. And it's that mid-size set wave, which runs very quickly. See what she does on the final move. A little stumble. There. Three minutes on the clock. She finds something. Molly Picklem on a tight one just off the rocks. It's cupped out on the face. It's a smaller wave. There's a really nice crack from her, though. And she'll look to pull in. Didn't get super deep there. Still going. Opens up. Just jams that one. Kind of carves an S into the face. Not sure we saw a seven there, Pete. Then it was a much bigger wave and a much more intense sections. So this one a little tight, as you had mentioned. Beautiful first turn. That was a great style. Not that deep in the barrel there, so the judges will take note of that. And then the finish. Nice carve, but just... A what a great moment. The champion here. She's had disappointment, made finals in the past, and you can see the emotion pouring out of Lakey Peterson, your champion here at the Corona Open J Bay. A brilliantly surfed event, a well hard fought final, and she is the champ. A big cuddle from Molly Picklem. Great moments, these, and it means so much to get a win on the championship tour to do it in an event like J Bay. Incredible, Pete. And you've got to give a lot of credit, actually, to her sparring partner, Molly Picklem.